What, I jumped the gun. I'm early. I'm excited to play this. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to... Welcome me back, I guess. I'm welcoming you to wel welcoming me back. I had a nice meal. Now it's time to play Biota, which is an acronym. And I don't remember what the acronym stands for, but I probably will soon. Uh, this is also a sponsored gameplay, so you can use the Biota command if you want to link to it on Steam. But that's it. We're just going to play the game. It's supposed to be like a... <clears throat> I get like Game Boy energy because of the the sort of monochrome aspect to it. Um, there are like kind of like Super Game Boy. You can pick uh, color palettes and stuff to render the game in. Uh, Beginning of twenty second century. You can take it away. Meteorite crashed in North America. Scientists who analyzed it discovered an unknown element. This element ushered in a new era for humanity. I'll see you, King Egg. Hopefully you can get to sleep. A new energy source, Viridium, became a key to interplanetary travel. Soon, mining companies competed to create new settlements all over the solar system. Their political and economic power grew to surpass even the largest nations. Soon, megacorporation V-Corp took control 65% of all known Viridium fields. It's year 2177. In one of V-Corp mines, located on asteroid Frontier Horizon, an alleged biological organism took over the surrounding ecosystem. This organism was called the Agent. Oh. A scientific yeah, barnacles look gross. Unofficially I think they're cool creatures, but boy, they look gross. All trace of the team was lost. The infamous Gemini 2 squad was sent. Look at those hard asses. Find out what happened. Okay. I don't want to hit a button and maybe miss some lore. Okay. The A team? No, Gemini Squad. So cool. Ooh. We'll, we'll kick it off with Gemini. have much time the asteroid is approaching the black hole too fast god damn my teleporter was damaged in the clash nice there should be an elevator just ahead we won't take off without you but you have to hurry our crust has already started to crumble i'm coming save a couple of beers for me over and out all right platforming time i could throw a little explosives like the orion palette there will be plenty of time don't worry about that Special weapon. Oh. Reminds you Gato Robo. I've actually never played that. I've been meaning to. Looks really cute. Damn aliens. Really like my hair. Oh, it's a cape that flutters up. Okay. I was kind of hoping it'd be like my cool hair flowing up when I'm dropping, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be my cool hair. 
This dude seems pretty locked into place anyway. Hmm. Truly hope you consider playing Deedlit in Wonder Labyrinth. Ah. I do need to I do need to check that one out. Try to add it to the gamer queue. Oh, new palette, you say? Here, we'll go with this for a while. Oh, baby. Oh, look at those colors. Hard as heck. Yeah, it sounds like my kind of thing. Like me a spicy video game. Oh, okay. That's what that button is. I was almost a little too, uh, a little too pixelated. Huh. Yeah, the palette options are nice. Keep the game looking fresh, even though it's a uh, pretty lo-fi. Oh man, this pixel art is really fun. Pegasus to ground control. Repeat ship Pegasus to ground control. Do you copy? Gemini Two Squad reporting, ready for Operation Getaway. Ground control to Gemini Two Squad. We are you with some interference. What's your position? We are approaching the asteroid frontier horizon. Contact expected at twelve sixty one forty three at preset coordinates. Mission diary updated. Next communication during re-entry phase. Starting radio silence. Remember, Gemini 2, failure is not an option over and out. Stupid white collars. They wouldn't be so brash if their asses were here in the middle of nowhere. Okay, crew, hang on tight. There could be some jolts during landing. Gotta love that commentary. Alright, we have a shitty asteroid on our hands here. The agent. This unknown virus, fungus, or whatever... It's causing uncontrolled mutations throughout the ecosystem, so keep your triggers ready. Remember to pick up the teleporter and use it. <laughs> up button or M key. You need to return to the base in case of emergency. For example, if you need the robotic medical unit. <laughs> Do I actually get to swap between the... Well, we'll see, we'll see. A little further on, there's the gate to the mining complex. A few survivors have gathered at the foot of the mountain. They might be a little nuts due to isolation and perhaps the beginning of contamination, but you never know. Maybe they can offer something useful. Captain, could the agent be dangerous for us too? I have no idea. I'll try to bring your asses back safe and sound. You're more useful as you are instead of turning to some fucking slimy creatures. The priority is now to save Jade Fournier. Fournier? A key member of the scientific expedition, Orion. She sent an SOS, so I trust she's still alive somewhere in the depths of this damned asteroid. If you don't feel ready, I can practice in our virtual training module. I expect no less than 100% from you. Now move. <laughs> All right. Oh, this guy now. Oh, wait. Maybe that's... That's not the same dude, is it? All right. Oops. Wait, there was mines? Okay. This is Kirill. All right. Whoa. Oh. Okay, so yeah, you do swap around. That's right. Grizzled vet is an American. I don't know what flag that is. <laughs> that could be that could be so many flags. I guess I guess that's actually an interesting I wonder if uh does nationality change based on? Sure. It's Mars. Is that what it says? Oh, it does. Right. Is it right there? Jeez. Mars nation. Do I have to? Oh. What? 
hollows. Okay, I gotta be a little more diligent with my uh, my inputs, but whatever. Pick up teleport. Oh wait. Is this infestation? <clears throat> Excuse me. Since this infants infestation broke out. Good lord. No one has been looking after the retractor, reactor, that powers the entire asteroid. I swear I can read. If the temperature gets out of control, a disaster could happen at any moment. Good foreshadowing. On the orders of Orion team, we've sealed the sectors of the asteroid where there was more biological hazard activity. The first one is in the mechanized extraction area to the east, with the second in the control tower. The third is in the collection tanks, where the reactor cooling waters are conveyed. And the fourth is in the depths of the satellite asteroid. We lost many men sealing those areas. I myself am miraculously alive, but I've not felt well for a few days now. Again, the way they describe it is pretty serious. I don't believe this agent story. I've heard that V Corp is hiding something from us. Oh. We're gonna die, Where? He's lost it. He's got space dementia. Gotta go, Gaff. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Okay. Fall off, they do. Okay, so it's kind of got like a uh, like a meat boy physics. You can slide up a wall if you hit it with a jump. That was always a really slick feeling maneuver, like sliding up a wall. Oh, what the hell? Chopped up immediately. What? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay. Beach hazards don't F around. Damn. Yeah, now there's a there's a save button. All right, so if I do that, I wonder if that makes it so. I kind of want to jump in the fan Just to test it. I mean, it does say warning right there, and like the biggest, there's a really big sign for it. Okay, if I save on this screen, is it just going to restart me? Like that really very Battletoad sounding, you died. Okay, wow. Let's just start me here. Well, that's generous then. What's up, Captain Rumpus? Okay, so this game is like, you know, like an Axiom Verge. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear. Gotta hit that button more often. 
I guess, yeah, like... If you want to progress with maximum efficiency, I guess you just want to drop a save as soon as you clear every screen. I fell down that hole before. Let's go over here. What does the bundle of sticks get you? I think it's the, like, side... my ability, basically. I can throw it on these little landmines. Which haven't been expressly... There we go. Okay. I didn't know you had to detonate them. I think that's what that is? I'm not quite sure what 100 rocks gets me. Or maybe that's currency. Yeah, so if you have 100, there's really no reason to, like, kill enemies or pick more up. Oh, God, no. Man. Right, Flitz. This game got RTX with the latest update. There is a new driver. And yes, I love the f ah! I love the fact that I use my PC to play games of this uh, technical intensity. My 3080 is being well used right now. TLSS on. What the heck is this? This looks important. Ooh. Since the staff were decimated, the reactor temperature has become critical. I advise you not go beyond the security door. Ah, okay. I need like a heat suit or something to get in here. Oh, that's a man. What's your deal? Space dementia. And this gate is the reactor. The radiation is too high. Only a robotic unit i have a chance of going through there and shutting the power down. Damn it. Huh, okay. But the teleporter will take me back to the... Oh, okay. That's nice. I guess I should go become a robot, man. I love using my 144 hertz predator to work on fucking Excel spreadsheets. I think there's a lot to be said for high frame rate. Uh... Why is it charging up? For high frame rate. Are you a robot? High frame rate desktop work. You might be a robot. I I enjoy doing like desk work more at 120 hertz or 144 hertz than I do at 60. Nice. Health injection. Ah! Keep forgetting. I don't I don't know if any of these dudes are robots, actually. I'm starting to feel like that might not be the case. like working in natural light versus fluorescent? Oh, absolutely. Ooh, these are crunchy. Yeah, man, just a nice clean monitor. Oh, man. It's the only way to work. The only way to do cyber work. 
I guess at some point I'll get the ability to hold more more resource nuggets. Last place you worked here was still using Vista. Oh! Wait, what? That didn't kill me? Unactivated Windows 10 is the way for companies, for real? Man. At least in most of the jobs I've had, I haven't had to look at an activate Windows. Ooh! Overlay. God, I think I would just buy Windows on my own, just to get rid of that. I shouldn't for the principle of it. Stupid company should buy windows, but holy cow, what a pain. How long this last? Oh, you can. Okay, you can just uh, scrape up those walls. Oh my gosh. Oh, Ruby, thank you. Thank you for the, the alert. Uh, Anonymous, thank you for the $13.37 don donation. I always want to say dono. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Hope you're having a wonderful hump day. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna change the palette just for that. Bang. Gonna go into the prettiest vaporwave color. Cyan and magenta. These are the colors of royalty. New item collected. New item collected. Here we go. Okay, yeah. Max for radiant pieces you can carry by 100. Makes sense. Ooh. I've actually heard a persuasive argument slash joke for never actually upgrading to higher frame rate monitors or gaming in general. It's when you're ignorant of the differences, the lower frame rate still feels as fine and enjoyable, but once you upgrade, it becomes that much harder to enjoy things that don't let you reach those lofty heights. Yeah, I don't know. You can use that as an excuse to not give yourself anything nice, though. Because you might lose it someday. Technically true, but pretty rough. Pretty rough way to live. Are these What A Show colors? What A Show is live right now, right? Yeah, it's Wednesday. It's What A Show Day. If you guys like fine Twitch content, then you should follow What A Show. Huh. Ooh, dead. Damn, I didn't save for a long time. Ooh. Yeah, just back at the, at the nodule. I guess if you want to be gamer about it, you can just choose to not not hit quick save. I don't mind that. Speaking of Charlotte, have you got my packages? Uh, unfortunately, no. Sorry. Uh, I should should be able to go tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go tomorrow. Let's see why I wouldn't go tomorrow. Also, gotta do something for somebody. I don't know. Maybe that might happen. But yeah, I'll check it out tomorrow. Basically, um, I I also need I have a ton of stuff I need to ship out. So, all the cards and stuff people have redeemed, and all the random uh, promotional items that I've given away. People deserve their stuff. I'm gonna send it to them. That is kind of an interesting mechanic, though, of like, you can only quick save on a screen if there's no enemies on it. Which, by splitting the screen, means that there are screens you can't just quick save on whenever you want. But it doesn't seem like there are enough of those that it makes a difference, really. It's still a pretty. Still a pretty kind quick save system, which, again, I'm, I'm totally fine with. I think it's a real shame if, like, 
if there's a game or a Metroidvania or any anything that somebody wants to play, and it's just like it's down to the arbitrary distance between checkpoints that prevents them from seeing the whole game or getting their money's worth or whatever, just the inability to drill a, a section to be able to do it flawlessly. Save states have saved me tons of time in replaying older games. Yeah. I mean, there's ego and pride. There's power and drive. There's a lot of reasons to be gamer about it. But... On your deathbed, are you really going to, uh... Are you really going to sit there and say, I'm glad that I never used a save state? Or are you going to look back on the hundreds of games you were able to enjoy and experience because you played efficiently with save state. Really something that makes you think. Really something that makes you think. Really starts, uh, tossing the old spaghetti noodle. All right, just turn it on some gamer lights. <sighs> That's nice. On my deathbed, I want to remember myself as a gamer. Oh yeah. I'm going to loudly shout to anyone in presence. Tell them I was a gamer. To the very end. Scream it. Scream it till I'm hoarse. Till I can scream no more. Tell them! For four hours. Tell them! I really don't think there's any greater calling in this in this life. Okay. Grab your grandson by his shoulders and yell at him, I was a gamer, damn it! Shake him and shit. Oh yeah. Scream in his face, get my old man spittle all over him. Yeah, he's gonna be traumatized for sure. Hub area? Ooh, this is big time Metroid. It's so squeaky. No, oh, it's squished. It's oh god. Oh, uh, what a sound. Oh, this is actually this has this looks way more Metroid too. Huh? Oh, it's so squishy. So floppy. Okay. The Brood Chamber. Oh, oh, it made the sound. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I need to go use the med bot. Forgetting I'm not really getting any health back. Oh, boy. Look at that sky. Okay, this is kind of neat. You're sort of invited to come back and do this after playing the game for a bit. I'm like a jellyfish. Ah, thank you for gifting five subs. Wait, why didn't the gate turn off? Well, that's right. It's just turn off. Jellyfish, thank you very much. Ooh. Darn it. Hmm. 
I got a little further. <laughs> Keep jumping into that one thing. Uh, yeah, sniper shot. One shot, one kill. Oh, God. Ugh! Ugh! God, ugh! Oh, it just keeps going? That's really cute. A Bill Crosshair shows up. Oh my god. God bless. God bless this little sniper man. And get him all squicked from a distance. The shot would kill. That's a really cool ability. Right height. That could have been better. Okay, so you like you can quick save, but I, I'm pretty sure it keeps your health. So the actual the actual skill check is can you make it like from checkpoint to checkpoint on a single bar of health? And you can save anytime you want, but that also keeps all the hits you've taken. So, that's that's good. That's fair. Oh, artificial intelligence in an emotion simulator? Yeah. I need that, but I can't. I don't have enough. I can't, I can't hold it. That's my robot. That's who I need. Ugh. I got squicked. Hate it. Just, I'm so in love with the fact that he one shot one kills. If I ever got to snipe somebody or something, I would definitely mutter one shot one kill to myself. That might be wildly inappropriate when it happens, but that's just the promise I've made to myself. Perfect. Damn, I, it was a while, a while ago. Yeah, see, I just, I came back with two bars of health. So I guess you can, you can like quick save on every screen, but you'll still have to do the whole thing without getting hit if you have no health. to help him. What do I do? Save first. Alright, I fell in the lava and I died. Alright, that's fair. Maybe a robot man could do it? Huh. Maybe one member of Seal Team 6 is immune to fire. Ooh. Saw that. Ooh! Oh, I touched... I bit... <sighs> I was like, maybe I can aim down. You can't. But what you can do is drop through the platform you're standing on. Directly into lava. That is what you can do. When you hit down. Ugh. God, that sound every time. Wait. Like a pimple popping? 
Maybe a grappling hook man or something? Yeah, maybe. What do you can like dash? Probably go through there too. Getting awfully Norfair around here. Ooh! Damn it. Shucks, I don't have any more sniper bullets. He's like, look at him though, he's juicing. He's juicing out, he's all slimy. He's got little gross drippies coming off of him. I can see it. I can see his drippies. Fully on one bar of health now. This area is big. Go anywhere from here. Okay. got myself into. All right. If that's where I am? Or is that the home base? Hmm. But like, wait, hold on. This says there's like a screen to the right and to the left, but this is like the left and up. Okay, what happens if I go up here? Read this map. Yes. Huh. Never watch Existence. Yeah, I did. It was weird. It was okay. It could have been more cheesily video gamey. Ooh. No, wait, the robot man was 350. What's up, Toxahedron? Welcome to the stream. It is good to see you. Ooh. Ah. I think you have to be like on. You can't be falling and stick to a wall. Seems to be the... Seems to be the rule. No robot today? Yeah, not yet. Gotta get bigger pockets. Thicker wallet chain.
Oh. Oh, what? You need a level one key. So what is the... What? Oh. Oh. Okay. Um... Is that the robot? Is this like marking the items I need to buy? Okay, I think I understand now. So, is the D where I am? It's blinking. My name, my character's name is Flint though. Okay, I am in the yellow blink. Okay, I understand. D for door. <laughs> Yellow blinking square is where I am. Okay, that's what I was missing before. Uh, can I jump over? Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're getting there. Solving the game's mysteries. That's one of the things I did always like about older games and lo-fi games is that you really... Sometimes you just had to flex some critical thinking ability just to understand what the game was or how it was meant to be played. Ooh. Just. Ooh. Oh, this is a Metroidvania. Yeah. It was giving me an Axiom Verge uh, feelings based on the, like, layout of the screens, the com, like, the level of combat. And yeah, this section in particular is very Metroid. They're not all like this. Other ones are like more mechanical. This is the this is the specifically the area where a uh, where an evil evil alien life form is invading and spreading and driving people crazy. Uh, also one thing that's also making it look more Metroidy is the palette palette swapping, which is really cool. A lot of very viable and cool looking palettes. I'm actually gonna go with this one. There's a lot of them there, so I've just been kind of flipping through them at random. Wait, what? I wonder what that... I wonder what the star means. Okay, well now that I'm tracking the map a little more closely, I feel like I can explore with a little more purpose. Looks like a Hollow Knight level? Oh man, it really does. Gauge specs. Thanks for the prime. Been any updates regarding Silk Song since the announcement like two plus years ago? Not that I, not that I'm aware of. Is that an enemy? It's not an enemy. Oh, that's right, new pallets. I love that there's a ton of pallets and there's more to collect. Uh, uh where am I? I want to keep exploring, but my dude only has one health. Whatever, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Horizon Prime 4. It actually, it's only been like, what, three years? Two, two and a half, three years? Since the announcement? I don't know, I, I felt like it had been a while, but then when I looked it up, I was like, okay. Like, actually, it kind of makes sense. There hasn't been anything. It hasn't been long enough. I would prefer the character to be a different color from the background. And sometimes it's not that easy if you only if you only have four colors. As you can, ooh, as you can see, the solution is commonly to just put a big stroke around uh, the uh, the items you want to be very visible. Early Game Boy Advance games did that a lot. music is so good it was interesting listening to frontline assembly during media share i feel like this has this has some dna in common is that gonna blow up yeah i've been up uh i've been i've been sort of it's interesting my visual design sensibilities are are starting to to change and evolve i think 
specifically I'm like I've I've wandered into some concepts about contrast and color that are starting I think you're starting to see in the inside games thumbnails that's where basically all that goes new inside games thumbnails oh I got Charlotte on there finally let's see The yellow, I think E for elevator, I'm going to guess. I'm gonna verify. It's got to be. I'm pretty sure it was the next screen. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's try someone else. Not gonna use him. Yeah, let's, let's use the veteran. <laughs> He's a little good. Dilly, dilly, dilly. Throw it. I'm going to upshift it one more time. Oh, let's see if I can clear this training stage. That same one got me last time. Why is that so tricky? Psyching me out. I'm getting psyched. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's Robo Man, but I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was 350. And I can, I can explore the other paths here. There's a stretch. Who knows? Who knows what could be there? Where am I going? Right then. Up. Oh god. Get too old for this veteran. Ugh, I get, get too old for this. Another shit show. Gone foo bar. My campaign's on Orion 5. I think we'll ever get a lethal weapon remake. I and it's bound to have been discussed. I'm going to guess that at whatever studio that owns Lethal Weapon, like, they probably roll their eyes whenever somebody says that. That must have been something, right? Glad you enjoyed hearing Frontline Assembly. I've always felt one of the coolest and most powerful things about music was its ability to bring back memories. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Bring back memories and like cement them in your mind. Maybe even sometimes change, change texture. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like um, through our connection with music, we can maybe more accurately remember what something felt like at the time, versus it going through the lens of like who we are now and the things we don't remember. Okay, so I can't go up from there. I means, uh, this guy. Save this guy. Innocent, maybe? Love the idol for those guys. Just sitting there and gooing up. Just squirting off goo everywhere. Just gooing all over the place. Oh, it's a button. Leverage activate. Alright. Good stuff. 
missed the stream if you were on yesterday. Look forward to it, but I passed out an hour after I got home from work. Woke up early this morning. No, it's fine. Um, Steph, Stephanie's actually traveling right now. And last night was her last night here. So I spent the evening with her. And drove her to the airport this morning. But her flight was delayed by like four hours. So she came back, slept on the couch, and then went back to the airport. But she's going to uh, a friend's birthday celebration. Okay, fully explored, basically. What is this? I want to know what that little, like, twinkle in the upper right means. See if I can narrow it down. Huh. Maybe the twinkle means it's a save point? A little star in the upper right? There's not a lot of real estate to work with when it comes to marking this map. Okay, so... I guess I can... Keep... Now that I, now that I know the map a lot better, I feel like I can maybe explore some of the older areas. Oh, wait. Lethal Weapon 5 is confirmed, but Gibson is directing. Huh. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess I better go look at all the... Look at all the screens that I didn't see. That's right, it's the lad's night. Lad's night! Got me a nice coffee. I am... I got a can-do attitude. I'm ready to game. Equipped and empowered. Fulfill my destiny on this, this earth. Which involves changing the palette right now. Bang. Ooh! Ooh, that's a glow. For some reason, it reminds me of Flashback. The cyberpunk, like... Ooh! Oh, wow, that didn't kill me. Side-scrolling, uh... Kind of adventure game, I guess? Character adventure game? Uh, actually, there's a screen in there I didn't see. Call it Pip-Boy Palette? Yeah, that is what this is. Speaking of... You get better plugging stuff. Got a 24-hour subathon. This Friday... For Fallout New Vegas, a game that I have never finished, never even really played as much, as much as I should have, being a triumphant interactive narrative and stuff. So, uh, Twitch chat can show up and tell me what to do. Backseat me mercilessly. Tell me what the only acceptable dialogue options are. I will choose them. We'll have a great time. I'm also going to have a ton of mods on deck. So, like... Every sub incentive, I'm. What I want to do is every sub incentive tie it to a mod that changes the game. So over the course of the stream, you see like one mod click on, and then another one click on, until by the end it just looks way different. I don't want to get too deep into changing the um, how the game actually plays though, because I haven't really played through it. So I think mechanically, gameplay wise, I wanted to to stay close to how the game shipped. However, that's possible. Is this on Friday night? Yeah. Friday right. Yes. Yes, it is. Starting around noon Pacific. Um, and then, yeah, whenever we hit sub-incentives, I'll read some more from the Doom novel. That's always fun and baffling. And then, yeah, every sub-incentive will turn on a, a Fallout mod as well. So, I just gotta, like, stack up some mods and make sure they work. It's gonna be an interesting challenge. Hey! Is that a robot, buddy? Oh, okay. I know where to get gasoline. <gasps> it would be faster to teleport back. How does one become a mod if they want to help you? Asking for myself. Uh, I guess that's it. Pretty much just that. 
You know what? Out of everyone, Pop Tart, you'd be the most likely I would be to mod somebody. But I don't know. I haven't seen. I haven't seen the need yet. Okay, let me swap to the mutant, Russian mutant. Turning on mods can suddenly cause the game to crash when you have to troubleshoot when mods aren't the mods aren't getting along. Yeah, I know. I've I've thought about it. That wouldn't be good to spend a spend a stream doing that instead of playing the game. So yeah, I'll have to try to do some kind of a uh, I'll have to do testing. If I if I can get the game to run with like a sequential load order. Then it should be good. It's not gonna be good, but it's fine. I'll figure it out. I made it. Personal best. Ooh! God damn it. Ugh. I don't know why the timing of that just always throws me. I could just, if I just went for it, if I just didn't hesitate every time, it would be fine. I don't think uh, chat needs mods. I tend to agree right now, but if 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 that changes, I'm open to it. Okay, I'm just going for this one screen that I didn't see before. I guess I should be going for the gasoline. Oh, too late. I'm already headed in this direction, so in this direction I will go. But I really do appreciate that, Pop Tart. I know that, I know that you would, you have, you have basically filled that role multiple times. I've, I've seen, and been very good at it. All it takes is one bad chatter. It's kind of true, yeah. It's frustrating to see the power that, like, that that trolls can have when it comes to captivating a, a group and and hijacking the uh, the tone and energy of a space. Really, really interesting stuff. Oh, 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 it was a pipe. Okay, okay. Well, I can test the theory here. I'll just go right and see if there's a save point over there. Oh, that's not where I thought it would be. Well, okay. Uh, only real big thing I think that mods would benefit chat for would be light spoiler policing, but Lauren seems pretty chill about them and there's not been massive annoying spoilers that I've really seen. Depends on the game as well. I, yeah, I tend to agree. Maybe just a little bit of that, but yeah, I, instead of policing it harder, really, I've found, I found that it's just far easier to be chill about it, like you said. Um, there was a thing up here? Maybe, maybe that means an item that you've collected. But yeah, most people, most people, if they do spoil something, they do it out of enthusiasm. Um, and they're usually like, with some light correcting, people usually like reel it in real fast. Uh, so I haven't noticed it like be a thing that anyone's done out of, uh, out of maliciousness, which is really nice. But I've kind of, what I've, what I've told myself to do, and what really works for me, is to truly embrace that playing games on Twitch is a collaborative experience, and some, sometimes that means people will blurt stuff out. And maybe that means you will, or I will, like, see an easy solution to a to a puzzle or something like that. See, see where an item is located that I'm looking for. But what's the real cost of that, you know? Truly, is it like... Is it really so important that I run around in circles for 20 minutes? Probably not. I don't know that that's... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hot stream content for anybody. Holy cow. No! Ooh. That was a rough death. Ugh, I gotta do that again. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh. We've thrown it into night mode. I gotta get up there to buy the gasoline.
Yeah, Strider, I agree. I've been... The last couple of times there have been... Maybe not... Oh, God, why? Trolls, but... Uh, I'll just go up the one wall. Yeah, everybody... People don't really feed the trolls here, too, which is really nice. I, uh... I have to say, I got very lucky. Very, very cool people. Very chill, cool people hang out in my chat. I'm very appreciative for that. Go up. Okay, so I have to explore another area. Okay, wait. From the looks of this, I haven't gone in the door that's all the way down. Okay. I'll go there. Uh! This might actually be faster. Oh, it's not faster because I saved here. Okay, I think I get this game now. It's picking up speed. I'm really liking it. Ooh, walked into the laser, caught up there. Jeez. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just do this. Okay, let's see. What's the best path? To They tried to tell me that the fans would kill me. They tried their best. Uh. Oh wait, no, this is fine. Okay. Thought I had to go around. Okay, I never came in. Oh, that's why. Oh, this is where, the, damn it. I was just here. Just here. For some reason I thought this would go to a new area, but it's not. I gotta figure out where to go. Oh, I see, okay. Left door? No, left door is the radioactive one. I gotta be robot boy for that. Can't afford a robot boy. Huh. Must have missed something. There's another door down there. Okay. Let's level up this pallet. Oh, this is awesome. Let me go back with Ace. <laughs> I just really like that sound. I wonder if these NPCs say anything else. Oh, maybe not. Okay. 
Does the drone show up when you're that character? Maybe, let me go see. It was for Z, right? Not showing up though. Oh, whatever. Well, where do I go? I'm at a bit of a loss. Oh, he's got a little shield. Nice. Robotic unit, yeah. And there's the gas. There was a black market where a guy was selling gas. Yeah, but I thought it was too expensive. Like, I, I thought I didn't have the ability to hold enough currency to buy it. But I'll go check. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Because yes, there was indeed. Oh, wait. Wrong spot. Oh, no, wait, no, I did just check the gas. Yeah, the gas was like 320. Uh, so I guess I'll go check the... Whatever this is. Yeah, it's 325. You can only hold... 300. Do I need to find another, uh... Another little wallet. Hear about Justin Lin dropping out of Fast 10. What do you think it means? Time travel confirmed? Ah, uh, I think it means Justin Lin doesn't want to make Fast and Furious anymore or something I don't know what were the did fast 9 do okay I didn't really look into anything about it I have no idea what the expectations on fast and furious are right now yeah so that's 350 huh I don't know what I stands for. Maybe I'll go to the, the thing. Maybe I'll go to I. Maybe there was one in a screen that I just didn't pick up. Ugh. All right. Down, right. Okay, so oh, the drawbridge. Right, 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 right. There you go, buddy. Jade, Jade Fournier. My God, are you with the recovery team? I'd almost lost hope. Is everything okay? V Corp sent us. Sent us after receiving the SOS. What happened to the rest of the team? We split up. I think the others have all been mutilated by the agent now. If you hadn't arrived, I would have gone the same way. The situation is much more serious than we expected. The agent transforms every form of life present here into a biological slave, affecting its DNA. Soon the whole asteroid will be an infected biological agglomerate, including us. Iridium deposits are nothing more than fossil spores of the, of the agent, ready to reactivate in certain circumstances. When demand for viridium increased, the extraction operations intensified. As a result, the asteroid temperature increased, creating the optimal conditions to reactivate the spores. My god. We're sitting on a biological weapon of gigantic proportions. And you haven't heard the worst part yet. Earth. That's right. All the viridium that has already been transferred to Earth and the terrestrial colonies. A chain reaction could be triggered at any moment that will modify all life forms to their liking. We must leave quickly, but first we have to collect as many biological specimens as possible so we can find an antidote and stop the spread. Otherwise, life as we know it will end. We have to make our way between the compartments of the asteroid. The areas where the agent's activity is greater have been sealed. We'll need magnetic keys to open them. I've got the level one key. Take it. We'll open the way to the mechanized extraction area to the east. Copy that. Now use this teleporter. It'll take you to the headquarters of Gemini 2 Squad. You'll find my crew there and you'll be safe for the moment. Please be careful. Cool. Q 
key card collected. Feels good. I want to see it in my inventory. Yeah, look at that big one on there. That calls for a pallet swap. Ooh, yeah, back on this one. Okay, so I think the level door... Yeah, the level door was all the way to the right. Let me go in there. Let's see what that is. I have no health. Ooh. Ah, that's really far. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm going forward. Ugh! Ugh! Tricked. Big time tricked. Oh boy. Uh, did you hear that? Wait. Popular. Did you hear that popular internet girls are now I ladies? I lay D's nuts. Nice. Oh yeah, Goose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna be doing a Fallout New Vegas subathon this Friday. New Vegas subathon where subs unlock new mods. We can find a bunch of goofy mods to throw on. Hopefully, some like tastefully horny ones. Lord knows if mods are anything, they are tastefully horny. And uh, also, yeah, new chapters in a new chapters in our Doom novel experience. So yeah, Steph's out of town, so I'm doing a subathon. Right. Hey there, buddy. Been a or it's a tragedy. Every worker in the sector has been infected by the agent. Oh, we got conveyor belts. Oh, look at him turn. Here, let me let me level up that pallet. Ooh. That's some big time Game Boy right there. Okay, cool. I haven't heard a D's nuts joke I didn't like. I can't. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. It's still. It's there's still joy in my heart. Jeez, cool. It's a little mutated worker man. That's really cute. Oh, that's so adorable. The little Amagus. Little, little sus Amagus guys. Can't wait. I think I have a tattoo appointment in the morning, but I know what I'm doing with the rest of my day. Awesome. Yeah, really, I'm, I'm kind of okay... Or I'm, I'm super open to the idea of just making it a big shared experience because so many people know about the game more than I do. So I'm kind of okay with people, like, backseating me or telling me what to do. Maybe not just outright spoiling everything, but definitely, like, nudging me in, in interesting directions. Kind of okay, uh... Ooh. Volunteering some of that control to chat. I've, I know they'll use it well. I know they'll use it responsibly. I know it. Ah! Interesting jump. Huh. Can't wait for Chad to send him to Quarry Junction first thing. Do it! It is a backseat required stream. I want to do like a lot of polls and stuff uh, to decide what to do. That's that's a very direct way that I kind of want it to be uh, a shared experience. Then people can be mad at each other for voting on things.
No spoilers, but we all know how to get the good outcomes or the really bad ones, depending on how you want to shape the Mojave. Kind of one, I don't know, I'm kind of okay with it being partially chaotic. Sort of whatever people vote on. Okay. Go back up. There's also multiple ways to get those outcomes, so I'm sure it'll be interesting. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay with, like, there's, like, a tug of war. If chat, if, so, if half of chat wants one thing and half wants another, doing things in, in different ways, in multiple ways. The, the, the tricky part for me is I'm not going to exactly know when or what to vote on. So I have to just kind of like, I guess, read, ask questions and, and read about possibilities from chat. Ooh! Oh. I haven't saved in a long time. Okay, well, that's not so bad. Yeah, that's, not, that's that could be worse, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna go up. This is telling me to go up. That almost bogged me. Okay, these are in this is interesting. Stretch of screens that they don't. Okay, th that's how they can force like platforming and stuff. Yeah. No. It's really smart. When you get to New Vegas after a certain quest, you can choose what faction to go ham before that point. Okay. And that's like it's a monolithic choice. You just you make it, and then it's it's made basically. Or usually in, usually in those games, you can, like, switch around if you want to. It's like, oh, well, you have to earn our trust. It's like, okay, whatever. force you to pick a side. Okay. So there's a pretty big and obvious choice that I can hand wholesale over to chat. Alright. Do like getting that longer life bar. You can do a lot before that side choice, though. Okay. Again, it'll be up to, uh... It'll be up to chat to guide me. Like a newborn babe wandering around the Mojave. One for my baby? I'll be that baby. The one is for me. Because I'm a little Fallout baby. Ah. Okay. I see what's going on here. Only issue with the massive chat participation that might lessen some of the pretty well-written narrative moments in the game, but I'm sure it'll still be plenty enjoyable, and I'm willing to bet you won't be able to tease out some of the deeper meanings of things regardless. Potentially not, yeah. Um, I think that stuff can come with time. Ooh, oh. Oh, oh, you can't stand on those. Oh, man. Uh, well, okay. Okay, you can save. Okay, so I guess it's the barrels that count as bombs to prevent you from saving. Okay. I don't think... Okay, yeah, I can't do that. So I have to come at it from the other way, but I don't even know if... 
That was a way that could work. Uh, okay. This doesn't seem like a screen that I'm supposed to be able to go left from. I don't think it is. I'm gonna go this way. Still a lot of jumps. Ugh. There. Okay. Does something get marked as out for delivery at 9 a.m. today and they get rescheduled for tomorrow, but not until 6 p.m. today? Bleh. Oh, that sucks. There's no, no anxiety quite like waiting for a specific package. Back when I would order, like when I would get like big PC upgrades delivered, like new video cards and stuff, I'd like cancel everything and just sort of kick around at my spot, waiting for the door to knock. And then it was out. Then it was game time. But until then, what are you gonna do? Like. Play, play games on your shitty, non-upgraded PC? The shitty frame rate and crappy resolution, so dumb. <laughs> Save, there we go. All right, now I can jump around like an idiot. Da -da 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 -da. To get that hairball or whatever the heck. Ooh, dead. Is that even gaming? No. No, it's not. I guess the, the old ritual would be to, like, uninstall the last drivers, open up your case. Ooh, I jumped into it! Ew. Take out the other card. Get it ready. Went to a micro center on Saturday intending to buy a new monitor. $1,100 later, and I have a new monitor, GPU, and more RAM. Beautiful. Ugh. I bet everything's running so much better. Oh, I'll have everyone know that also, step one of my sinister plan to install more fans into my PC case went very well. Now I have two. Ooh, why did I jump again? Man, that seems like, really doesn't seem like I can just walk off of that, but maybe I can. Now I have two K uh, chassis fans. Isn't that something? Actually, three, technically. Oh. Okay, that's the third time I've done that exact thing. The third time. Let's see if I can do it again. Love the smell of new electronics. No, I do too. Ugh, there we go. It's kind of hard to like... I mean, the baked-in Pavlovian response is just there. There's no denying it. Save. Okay, now what? Now let's drop down from here. Was there drilling involved? Not yet. That might be the next step. Yeah, this music is so good, right? Uh, yeah, the neck... I, I, it reminds me of Blaster Master. That's what that that gun reminds me of. Anyway, uh, the next step could involve drilling, depending. Uh, so there aren't many... It's just, it's a really old case, so there aren't many spots... Uh, there aren't many spots to... Uh, to mount fans. Um, hold on, I gotta click on this. Exactly. Exactly, Pop Tart. That's me. I would. I, there was one point where I was just like sitting with my DS, I think, and I pulled a chair up to the window, and I was just like tip tapping away. I, I think I was playing Trauma Center, waiting for like a van to roll up. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. See you all in just a second. Back at it. Back at it. I would really like to get this robot. I'm excited to see this robot move around. I think that's going to be a very charming uh, pixel animation. That's my destination, I think. 
I'm going to set my sights on that. Uh, oh, interesting. All right. Oh, right. I could just go down. PD Tech was getting spicy. Don't worry. It, it hasn't gone anywhere. Media Tech is merely slumbering. That's right, Ruby. Yeah, I don't know. The the tricky part, it's kind of sizing up in my mind. The the subathon that is. I just don't know how much research I'll be able to do before Friday. Or how much uh testing with Fallout New Vegas I'll be able to do. Uh-oh. I missed a switch. Is there Man, does that mean there was one on a screen that I just didn't hit? I mean, at least they're all marked. Damn, that's a bummer. Okay. I guess I get to go back and check them all. <laughs> What's up, Kaz? I am playing Biota, which is an acronym. It's out now on Steam and Good Old Games, and maybe some other stores those are the two i'm aware of but oh i got brain chomped oh cool oh that was gnarly cool oh man damn okay uh let me think about Behind on life, might as well swap up characters again. Let's keep rolling through those pallets. Jade. Oh, a new character. Canadian scientist. Pew, 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 pew. She can make med packs? Little, little helmet? Damn, that's cute. You see your little hands going back and forth? This one feels a lot more Game Boy. It really does, yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. That's a really cute run cycle. Alright. Alright, where am I going? Alright then, up. I missed a gosh darn switch. Wait, did it? Maybe it can't because I'm wearing a suit. I guess it hurt. Oh, it's probably if you get killed by it. It just does damage otherwise. All right, let's go check this one. I'm pretty sure I remember hitting this one. Pretty sure I remember this. And I think I'm pretty sure I specifically remember there being a switch at the end. Of that. But must be thorough because I certainly wasn't the last time. Maybe I didn't hit that. <laughs> Maybe that's the one I didn't hit. Ooh, ooh, I was so wrong. Ow! And now I'm dead. Jeez. Rough day. Rough day in space. Okay. That's okay, though. Everything's back on track. Hey, what's up, Ice Man? Oh, what? I fell for it again. Uh, I think it will be easier to just teleport out and come back. 
know what's weird? I've been getting the mad hankering to play uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. That campaign was absolutely cool. It was outrageous. Crazy, ooh! Crazy bonkers. That was like pretty peak Call of Duty being a satire of itself kind of territory, which I thought was super fun. But I think people maybe took it seriously. Huh. Oh, there was a heal bot right there. I didn't know that they could actually be away from base. Good to know, I guess. Oh, boss fight. Hell yeah. What the hell? Oh, gross. Oh, I gotta wait. Huh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I jumped in. I jumped directly in the mouth. Just started the stream, which COD are we talking about? Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare's campaign is awesome. Kind of unappreciated, I think. But people don't really even care about or talk about the campaigns in COD. I'm so bad at this. I'll just do one. It's so much easier just to skip up one wall. F to, F to pay respects, that was advanced warfare. Which I actually like the campaign for that too. Ow. Why is that so difficult? You only get one? YouTube's been feeding you Modern Warfare 2 clips. Just bought Black Ops 3 just to play zombies. The zombies modes in those games are getting were getting crazy. Which I really like that game type. I just never really had anyone to play zombies with. I think I keep forgetting to quick save. Alright, what's the what's the deal here? So that makes it switch to a like a landmine. I only get one. You get one drop, and then it goes back to being a barrel. And I guess that, like, that thing just turns on. Really like World War II's campaign. I started it. It seemed like, it seemed interesting, but unremarkable, I guess. Couldn't I couldn't find something grabby about it. Although, I, I saw a clip on Reddit, I think of a train crash sequence in that game where just like there's stuff spiraling everywhere and things keep exploding. Uh, if there's if there's a few, a few like set piece moments like that in the campaign, then it would definitely be worth playing. Oh, Goose, wait, are you interested in this game? Because yeah, there's boss battles. I'm trying to figure this one out right now. There's a, I think there's a part where he just, it just leaves its mouth open. Can't tell if that's caused by me dropping stuff on it. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see. Just gotta wait.
Oh, the train crashed the highlight. Okay. It's it's still really good. I would want to see that. I would want to see that like in engine, you know, high frame rate, high resolution. It works. Because, yeah, the, the version I saw, on, which was like, yeah, just a really like low frame rate, GIF compressed version of it. Warbo 2 on Veteran was a nightmare. Yeah? Call of Duty is such an interesting game when it's hard. Or you try to play it on hard. I'm not sure that the resulting game is very fun. Because uh, it, it's, it almost feels like a... Like hide and seek, kind of. But maybe that's what real firefights would be like. Just having to tiptoe around every corner. And abuse, like, whatever AI tricks you can. Damn it! Oh. Cheesing spawn triggers, yeah. That's what COD is all about. Yeah, this takes so long, wow. Alright. Ah, oh, God, why do I let that shit hit me? Ugh. Damn, that hurts a lot. Really annoying angles. What if you time it right if you can s sail a bomb into his mouth? It's mouth. <sighs> In between mouth lasers. Hey, hold on. Oh, you do auto automatically get your health back in World War II? I thought you didn't. I thought that was like the whole thing about it. Oh, when you ran out of health packs, you were done. Okay, so that is how it was, yeah. We're crawling around for... Oh, should have been reading chat. Crawling around for a solid 10 minutes trying not to get hit. War as hell. Yeah, that's that sounds like COD. That sounds like classic COD, really. That was, that was my beef. Sorry about that. Oh, in veteran mode, your health didn't come back. Okay. Oh, no. That's okay. I think there's time. Oh, no. Okay. All right. When he opens his mouth. Oh. All right. I get it. I get it. Maybe the, uh, the shield... What is it? The, what's not, one of the dudes has a shield. That ability might be nice here. get what the switch does the one on the left oh god damn it. the one on the left makes it so it drops a mine instead of a barrel when i hit this 
the mine looking things actually do damage. That's the only way I've found out to hurt this boss. Enjoy playing a COD campaign on Veteran? Yeah, it's fun. They can be fun. I think Advanced Advanced Warfare was the last campaign that I like really dug into, played played like twice. Really had a good time with. Ugh. It was dumb, but of course it was. It was well made dumb. I guess it has Kevin Spacey in it. That's a little little no bueno now. There we go. But Kevin Spacey in video game form. It's only like half a Spacey, right? Cypher, hey. How you doing? Ooh. Yeah. Bigger purse. Hell yes. Hell yes. That opens up a lot of possibilities. Okay, now I can get gas and, uh... Yeah. And uh fire up the fire up the robo. That's the that's what we're doing now. Let's see. He did the mocap and voice, I'd say at least three quarters of a spacey. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Back with a little sniper guy. He's cute. He's cute looking. Okay, I gotta, I gotta earn some cash. That, that's pretty fast, actually. I've noticed. Kid Harrington in Infinity War. Yeah, I need a. I, I really want to play Infinity War's campaign again. What was it Josh Duhamel in World or World War Two? Then it was like. Did they did they get names in uh, Cold War? Steph played that campaign. I got to see little bits of it. It was really interesting. Uh, where am I going? I think the gas is here. Gas is not here. Okay. So squeaky. So squicked. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Dream Reaper, thanks for the prime. Alright. Gasoline acquired. Let's go fire up that robot. It's at the bottom. Yeah, it's that door. Oh, man. Oh. This is future gaming right here. The Cold War was just a reboot of the Blobs guys, so Alex Mason and Woods. Uh, was it a reboot? I don't know. I actually haven't followed most of the Black Ops storyline. I didn't. 
I played the, the like, one ridiculous cyberpunk one that made no sense. It was like, I didn't expect something so, like, esoteric and weird to ever be in a Call of Duty for, uh, campaign. It's a very kind of, like, trippy, psychedelic campaign. Kind of reminded me of, um, Observer, the Bloober Team game about, about, like, making cybernetic and transhumanist themes very, like, disquieting and weird, uh... It was, a, it was, it was, it was interesting. It was cool. They had Robert Redford. I thought that just looked like Robert Redford. Was it actually? He's like, not supposed to go down here. Oy. Robert Redford's in a video game? Yeah. The one Black Ops dude looks just like him. I don't know if it's actually him. I don't think it's him. Darn it. Was him? For real? Is Observer the one on the record, Howard? Yes, that is the one. You're a cybernetic psycher, psycho cyber detective. And you techno hack into people's brains to like do crime scene investigation. Pretty sure that's the <laughs> that's the premise. Mecha activated. Oh yeah. I didn't actually expect there to be like a whole a whole thing. Like the UI changed and everything. Hell yeah. Oh, Bail Straw. That's a really good pixel art. Like turning back and forth like that. The claw trade sides, but whatever. One film where Rutger Hauer plays basically Zatoichi the Blind sword, Samurai is a classic. Yeah, what is it? I think it's Blind Fury. I've put that on in the background a couple of times, and I haven't made it. I haven't finished it yet. Like something always happens, and I just end up not finishing it. But it seemed really like quirky. Like Rutger Hauer's performance is very like it's charming, but but very weird, and I want to say enigmatic. But I don't like that. Feels like feels like too easy. It's, it feels like a movie word. It also feels like I might be giving his performance too much credit in a weird way. Cause I don't know if it was just like it was just that time and he was like on crack or, or no cocaine. Please, Rutger Howard's classy. I don't know. It feels like uh that era in film had a lot of weird performances. And I can't tell how like. How dialed in it was. Seen Hobo with a shotgun? I have. That was fun. Very intense movie. <laughs> oh, Hobo with a shotgun is like your number one. For Rutger Hauer. For me, it's always. I think it's always going to be Blade Runner. Although, like, his performances and other stuff, 
don't imply that his like blind fury performance was anything less than intentional. And thinking about it in terms of like it being a Zatoichi retelling kind of makes the performance make a lot more sense. Anyway, Redgur, if you're listening, I'm sorry that I implied you did crack. I know you're a cocaine man. My favorite term is Blade Runner, but Hobo sticks in my mind. It cert like it does stick. I've thought about that movie every so often. I don't know what part of my brain it, it has residence, but it's in there. It's definitely in there. Oh, my little stompy guy. Oh, the Hitcher is one of his best? Yeah. I do like the Hitcher quite a bit. I'm playing Overwatch 2. I don't have access to it. I guess I probably should have waited around for a drop or whatever, but... I don't know. Should I be? Should I be playing Overwatch? I've always wanted to see Split Second. Like, the cover art looks really good for it. Everybody's on it now. Looks the same from far, though. Okay. We have the Hitcher and Media Tech. Yeah, I think there's a trailer for it. I don't know. I've never been, never been a huge trend trend follower on Twitch. But I got nothing against Overwatch. I mean, if it were, if I got a like access to it. Without having to jump through hoops or something. Then I'd probably yeah, I'd probably check it out. Stompy, 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 stompy. I love this little robot. This is a pretty long, like robot smashy sequence. Oh, there we go, okay. Oh no! Cyber laser. Yeah. Oh, little robot man, run! This little spider coming after me. Uh-uh. Laser. I was too, I was too pleased with myself. Ooh. Yeah, this is a tense laser chase. Tense laser chase. All right, my, my brain was still fried out by the extremity of the lasers. Pretty pleasing enemy explosions, I have to admit. There's gotta be a whole black art to like 
doing uh, pixel art explosions and making them look really nice. Like you want to keep seeing them like fireworks. You're playing the Far Cry games, the one released for the OG Xbox. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, well, hold on now. Wait a minute. Because there was there were a weird variety of like uh, console exclusive Far Cries, I think. Um, I remember pl I played like the mainline ones. Mostly on PC. And then, like... Remember there was one called, like, Predator? It was all about setting traps and stuff. You could, like, crawl around under... Oh, no, wait. That was on the Wii, I think? Jeez. I was taking a lot of damage. All right, I gotta be a little more careful. Was it Vengeance? Jeez, I... They really, they really went a little bit bananas with a property. Just made all sorts of stuff. It wasn't until, I guess, 3 that they really found out what they were going to do with the property, I guess. Okay, you can just walk. Vengeance was on the Wii. Vengeance. Anybody who played Far Cry Vengeance, could you tell me what about the game meant it was called Vengeance? Was somebody getting vengeance for something? Somebody being avenged? Did John Far Cry ever turn to the screen and say, it's time for my vengeance? Far, it's a far cry from my vengeance. I bet that happened. Ah, oh, God. I'm trying to remember the dude's name. John Far Cry's name. The guy in the, like, Hawaiian shirt. Far Cry 1 starts. It's just like John, John Far Cry's on a boat and he jumps off and the boat explodes. Because, like, somebody commissioned him to, like, sail near this island with these tests or something. Like a journalist, maybe? <laughs> Fuck! I'm hitting jump, I really, I swear I am. Alright, new pallet. Honestly don't remember, it's one of the few games I had on the Wii. Almost. That, that basically counts. Maybe it was, uh, getting vengeance for all the other Wii games that you didn't have. Man. Thinking about Wii, co Wii game collections. What a weird slice that was. I'm trying to think of the games I had on Wii. My Wii inventory was mostly rotating. I would just, like... As soon as I finished a game, I'd try to sell it. Because there weren't a whole lot of games I felt like hanging on to. I guess I had, like, Mario Galaxy 2 for a while. We fit. Smash Brothers. I had a copy of Other M for the longest time. Because I just always wanted to play it and never did. Recently gave it away on stream. A near mint condition copy of Metroid Other M. Oh yes. My generosity knows very few bounds. You have to keep going, and so these drips just kind of get you, it seems. You can't stop. Ah, oh, God. Don't drip. Don't drip. Okay. Don't drip. Shit. Okay. do it. I'm gonna go. Hell yes, laser! They can't stop me. They can't stop me. I'm going! I've never been this free. <laughs> I did it! 
Damn. That was a pretty gnarly sequence. My thumbs, my thumbs got to work out. Okay. That was cool. I wanted to see that robot. It didn't disappoint. That'll do it for the sponsorship for Biota. Biota, thank you for sponsoring the stream. If you're interested in the game, Crab Foam, thanks for hitting up the, uh, the command. You can check it out there. Thanks again. All right, it's Elden Ring time. Which means I have to set up my candle cam, so I'll be right back. Like, two to three minutes tops. <laughs>